The Aztecs season is going to roll right back around, and once again, we waited with bated breath. And joining us right now, he's a new assistant coach, but he's not a new face to Montezuma Mesa. Named today by head coach Brian Dutcher to round out his staff on the men's basketball team. Jay Morris joins us for the first time here on the Loose Cannons. Jay, coach, how you doing? I'm doing well. How are you guys doing? So talk about it. You you were here as direct was a director of basketball operations a couple years ago. Uh, actually, uh, right before the season last year, I was here. Um, and, you know, I've been coaching for about 10 years, and an and a, uh, opportunity came up for me to uh, act in an assistant coaching position with San Jose State. And uh, Coach Dutcher, being the uh, man that he is, uh, definitely encouraged me to take it um, just for my career development and, you know, to, to, to be able to better support my family. So uh, with all the support that he gave me, I decided to take that job prior to the season last year, and, and now I'm back. Hey, it's unbelievable, Jay, because you, you had just gotten hired, and then you're gone. So you really were sort of here, but not really here. But you're certainly no stranger to the staff. So when the opportunity came with an opening on the staff to come back to San Diego State, take us through the process after being at San Jose, returning to the Aztecs. How did it all play out? Well, you know, it was it was kind of an unconditional, uh, unconditional process to me because Usually you go through these things for a long time and, 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 and go through the process. Um, but, you know, Coach Dutcher, he, he brought several guys in here, and uh, he just kind of kept coming back to me. And uh, usually you call and, and try to, uh, you know, convince someone to give you the job, but just the dynamics that, that, that were involved, I didn't think that that was the direction that I should go. So I kind of just waited for Coach Dutcher to call me, and he called me one day, and I accepted the job the next day, and I was here a week later. So uh, <laughs> it, it happened pretty quick, um, but, you know, the length of our relationship, um, you know, I was, I was waiting and hoping on the call, and I finally got it. Coach, you, you've had the opportunity to be inside the program, but you've also had the chance to go outside and, and maybe take an outsider's perspective looking back at it. Do people in San Diego – have an adequate enough grasp of of just how great the product is that Coach Fisher and now Coach Dutcher have built as far as collegiate basketball is concerned in San Diego? Um, I think they do. I mean, you look at the arena and it's filled, uh, you know, night in and night out. So I definitely think they have a grasp of it. But um, when you're on the outside looking in, you definitely think that way. And I know you guys uh, here have come accustomed to the uh, success, and I'm just happy to be a part of it. Jay Morris will join us, one of the new assistant coaches for the Aztec basketball program. It's all about recruiting, Coach, and you have quite a record as a recruiter going back to your days at Northridge. You were at Nevada. I mean, you've had different stops along the way, but the one thing that has been consistent is your ability to bring recruits to that school. What what do you get when you're going out on the recruiting trail and you're selling Coach Dutcher and the Aztec program? How is that different than other places you've been? Well, I think Coach Dutcher and the Aztec program sells itself. So, um, you know, I, I don't have to do a hard sell. I think I just have to be me. And, you know, the, the school and the program will sell itself. But it, me as a person, uh, I try to take a personal approach to recruiting. Um, and so far I've had some success at the stops that I've had doing that. And so I continue. I plan on continuing to do that here with the, the power of uh, San Diego State and the Aztec Nation behind me. Coach, when you walk into somebody's living room, either you might be with their parents, you might be with their mom or dad and aunt, it, it doesn't matter. But when you start talking, you're representing Aztec basketball in San Diego State University, and you start talking about uh, what the program is all about, you get the sense people kind of inch a little closer on their couches to hear what you have to say? Uh, definitely. Um, definitely. I, I definitely think that. Um, but with Coach, uh, with Coach Dutcher and Coach Fisher have done here, you know, people speak, and, and them being good people uh, beyond the game of basketball and them caring about their players while they're here and after they're gone, um, people, when you, when you walk in, they'll, they'll know that, and, and, and they will understand that, and it makes my job a little easier. <laughs> Recruiting is not easier, but the foundation that Coach Fisher and Dutcher have stepped forth, um, people will definitely inch, inch closer on their couches to listen and uh, hopefully buy in. Now, one of, my, one of the tricks of the trade is that relationship that you try to create with these players. And from what I gather, Coach, um, you, you look young enough still to be playing with these guys. Now, you, you might actually have a couple of years on them. Uh, but 
is is that I mean, I'm, I guess you pull out all stops, but have you gotten that before where they just seem to say, well, this guy isn't far removed from where we are, maybe he understands us a little better? I, I, I do think so. Um, I, I would say that's kind of a niche of mine. Um, you know, the guys, I'm, I'm probably a little further in age than they think, but I still listen to the same music, wear some <laughs> of the same clothes, and, 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 and watch some of the same reality TV shows that they do. So we, we, we have a lot in common. Um, but at the same time, uh, they value me as a mentor and someone that they respect. So I'm able to be a bridge, uh, you know, from, you know, players to coaching staff and other, you know, um, academic administration, so on and so forth. So I prided myself in that since I started coaching, and that's something that I plan to continue to do. New Aztecs assistant coach Jay Morris with us here on the Loose Cannons. Coach, what is, I guess, what is the the biggest hurdle that you have to help an incoming freshman with when they make that transition from the, you know, the, the big fish in the little pond to then stepping onto this court here at Viejas arena and playing Aztecs basketball, what is the biggest thing they face in transitioning to the next level? Um, well, the biggest thing is usually the players that we're going to recruit were always the best player on their team, the best player in their league. And now you come into a league where everybody was the best player on their team and in their league. So, um, it, it, it's not, it may not be instant success uh, like they plan on. So I think the biggest thing is just keeping them positive, keeping them focused on the, the long-term goal of uh, you know, a college degree and just continuing to improve every day. And if they buy into that um, and, and manage their time correctly, I think they'll leave here uh, way better than they came. You've had an opportunity to Obviously, work under other coaches. Eric Musselman, a good friend of ours, obviously done a great job at Nevada over there. Um, but when you look at Dutch and his history with Coach Fisher over the years and and know he was part of the dynamic with the Fab Five at Michigan and everything else, when, when you look at his career and the patience that he had to finally get his opportunity to be a head coach, does that serve as inspiration to you? Can, can you use a career like Dutch uh, as an example of how to sort of stay there, get the job done, and good things will happen down the road? For sure. I mean, if you look at my uh, coaching career to this point, I've bounced around several spots, but you want to get to a place uh, where you can hopefully uh, gain some longevity. And, you know, I was told a long time ago that there is no security in college athletics, but if you look at all of the programs around um, if, if you had to stay there with some security somewhere, you would have to probably see it in San Diego State basketball and Coach Dutcher uh, for sure. So um, I'm excited to, to, to learn from him, and I'm excited to be at a spot where I feel like I could stay for a long time and grow as a person and a coach. And, uh, you know, it's nobody better to do it fr- to and learn from than Coach Dutcher. Coach, congratulations on a new job in a familiar place, and and we are the home of the Aztecs in San Diego. And as I as I said at the beginning of the interview, always wait with bated breath for the basketball season to roll around, like the other seasons up there on the Mesa. Congratulations and thank for the time. I appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. All right, that's uh, Jay Morris joining us there. And again, it's it's just weird because he had just gotten hired before last season, but he never really stayed because immediately got the opportunity. Uh, as Coach Dutch said, double his pay. He was going to stand in his way. He's got uh, twins. He's got a young family. Uh, and so he was here, but he wasn't really here. But well, now he, he is here.